the poor man. Shattered like a china cup. What do you want to achieve now, Rangers? My time is important. They told you to talk to me? That's nuts! Fine. I just wanted you to leave me alone. But it looks like you're a smart, well-versed dealer in human nature, so I regret that decision. You've seen how false and sugar-sweet all these people are to each other? Here's to honesty. Yes, it's true. I should have had Fletcher's abductor stay out instead of making two teams. But here's the thing. I wanted to pose the current regime of personal abnegation and denial and put a system of personal power in its place. Now, I'm going to trust to your discretion as a self-actualized individual to keep the nature of this particular strategy to yourself. And I hardly need mention that if you fail in this duty, it will simply be the word of a vagabond against that of a respected member of the community. I think we can work a deal. You want to use the radio, I hear. I want the Coliseum. And no, I won't call it the Angel. What a stupid name. You help me take the Coliseum from Mr. Manners, and I'll make sure you get what you need. I'll admit it's a nice little setup they've got going on here. All this place needs is the proper leadership to help it maximize its potential. Just stay out of my way. By the time the execution happens, things should be cooking along nicely. If they don't, come back and we'll talk. See you around, Rangers!
I hope your time away has been pleasant, gentle visitor. That's an interesting way to put it, friend. We prefer to think of it as recycling or as communion. If you read the Bible, we are literally sharing the body, and in doing so, we grow closer to one another. Besides, we only eat the rude and the unwanted. Everyone has a chance to avoid this fate. Well, it's not something we like to talk about, since it seems to upset first-time visitors to the angel, but no, I don't deny it. It is a sacred part of our tradition, and something that brings us all closer together. We hold an execution once a month, gentle questioner. The sacrifice chosen from among our own. Whoever among us has most failed to uphold the rules of the sacred book. They are taken to the commons and killed for their sins, and ours. The sacrifice is a catharsis, helping to clear the petty tensions that build up amongst us every month. It is also a way to keep everyone on their toes. They know they must always be on their best behavior, or they might be next month's sacrifice. Well, Symbolically, we have shared the body of one of our brothers or sisters, making us all one. And, uh, pragmatically, it makes anyone who's participated in the ritual complicit and helps keep them quiet about it when there are strangers around. Would it be more polite just to bury them? I think not. For the good of our society, we must kill one of our own every month. Should we just throw the body away like it was trash? No, that would be wasteful and disrespectful. Instead, we use every usable scrap of it to feed our people, thereby honoring the dead, and giving our otherwise vegetarian population some much needed meat. That is why we call it courtesy meat, because we do it as a courtesy to the executed, so that they know their death will have had meaning and worth. Yes, yes, he's told me this before, but he's given me no proof. It's a theory, not fact. I won't believe it until he has proof. Rob? No. Is this true? You're lying to me. It's impolite to lie. I... No, you're not lying. I've denied it for too long. The rise in... Odd behavior. The disappearances. I put it down to tensions between us and the Robinsons, but now... All right. Traditions can change if change is inevitable. The courtesy meet will stop. I promise you. Farewell, gentle rangers. That man might be a prig, but he seems to have the right idea. I hope your time away has been pleasant, gentle visitor. Farewell, gentle rangers. Attention, gentle citizens. The Desert Rangers have brought to my attention disturbing health concerns regarding our traditional courtesy meat. Therefore, consumption of courtesy meat shall cease until further notice. Good day.